Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to paint this small sized leopard or cheetah print over a subtle gradient base with an accent nail. Start with a bare clean nail and paint on an orange base. Now apply as many coats as you need until the base colour is opaque which means that it's no longer see through. I'm using LA Girl Disco Brights polish in the shade Retro and I only needed to use two coats. When that's dry, paint on a liquid tape or a latex barrier to help with the cleanup of the gradient later on. I've got a tutorial on how to make your own here, but today I'm using Liquid Palisade by Kiesk. Apply the liquid tape barrier to the cuticle and the skin surrounding the nail and then let it dry completely. I'm taking the orange polish that you just used and a light yellow polish, apply them to a makeup sponge. The light yellow that I'm using is China Glaze Lemon Fizz and you're going to want to apply them in a dark, light, dark pattern and dab the sponge over the nail in a zigzag motion to blend the colours together on the nail. I have a tutorial here which shows you how I get my gradients to blend so well. When you're happy with how the gradient looks, remove the barrier with tweezers and then clean up any extra polish on your skin with polish remover. With a small angled brush and polish remover, clean around the cuticle. This step isn't necessary but it makes the nail look cleaner and more professional. Now while that gradient's drying, paint your accent nail. I'm using OPI Black Onyx and it's opaque in two coats. You don't need to do an accent now, but it sometimes helps break up all that animal print from being so busy. Now to do the leopard spots, I'm going to be using black acrylic paint and a small dotting tool. It dries a lot faster and it's easier and less messy to use and it also doesn't streak when you add the top coat like some polish has a tendency to do. Now there's two different ways that you can do leopard dots on the nails. The two slightly rounded lines with these two openings and the other is this C shape with only one opening. You're going to want to alternate between the two types and cover the entire nail. You can also add these small dots in between them to fill in any gaps. Now you don't have to do them this small, larger dots look just as great and a lot more suited for beginners. Once the whole nail is covered, apply a top coat, remembering to wrap the edge of your nail to prevent any chipping. To attach the bow, you're obviously going to need nail glue. Apply a small patch to the nail and hold the bow down until the glue dries. And this is the final result. The gradient's really subtle, but it gives the money a different dimension in my opinion. If you like this design, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe.